I have no idea how to do an intro. I've spent the past hour trying to do one and I, I, I just can't do it. So this is my intro. Right, I'm going to try my best to explain to you the concept of fat loss and how to do it. Maybe you've tried to lose fat before and it just hasn't worked. Or maybe you've never tried and you're just sick of being fat. Either way, watch this video. Fat loss is basically the most unnecessarily overcomplicated process in the history of the entire world. The reason being is fat loss is profitable. Big organizations don't want to simply tell people how to lose fat. Instead, they want to sell them to add products that don't actually work and make lots of money. And guess what? They do make lots of money, but people are still fat. So in this video, I've already told you that you're going to lose fat. That lose fat. So this is actually my first whack at making a video. The main reason I'm doing it is because every time I open my Instagram or something, I'm seeing influencers selling weight loss strengths and none of it actually works so i want to be a fresh face that shows you the proper way to lose fat and not someone that's trying to make money off you i know what you're thinking i can get to the point okay the only way to lose fat is a calorie deficit so i'm going to explain to you what a calorie deficit is how you can put yourself in a calorie deficit and ultimately how a calorie deficit turns you into a round shape into a less round shape so before we get into the calorie deficit and the nitty gritty i'm going to tell you a wee bit about myself so basically at one stage I was 92 kg and I was like, I was like, I'm 92 kg, like I definitely need to be less kgs. So I went onto Google and I looked and looked and looked for ways to lose fat. And I've seen lots of stuff like increase protein, increase your amount of sleep, cut out carbs, do high intensity interval training. And I was like, yeah, right, try it all. Didn't work. And I was like, guess I'm just going to be fat forever. But no. The reason that that stuff isn't working because that stuff alone is useless without a calorie deficit. Since I found out about this magical calorie deficit, I've lost 82, 17 kilos. So that's pretty good going. And I believe that anyone that applies this principle can do the same. In case you don't believe me, here's a wee photo on the screen of my progress. So in this image here, I was 92 kg and then I applied the calorie deficit and this is the result. A calorie deficit is basically when you burn more calories than you consume. It seems pretty easy, but that's 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 it. That's that's how you're going to lose fat, right? To help you understand the concept of a calorie deficit as best as you can possibly get it in your brain, I'm going to use an analogy. It's not my analogy. I actually stole it off a guy called James Smith. He's really good. You should check him out. But anyway, the analogy is comparing your body to um, a bank account. She can never remember it off the top of my head, so I have it written down here. So let's say you have £2,000 in your bank account and you spend £2,000. You will need to put £2,000 back into the account in order to maintain the same balance held. If you put more than £2,000 in the account, this will result in a higher balance than before. And if you put less than £2,000 back in, the balance will be less. Common sense. Well, your body is basically a bank account and calories are the money. If you eat less calories than you use, then your balance will decrease. Your balance is your weight. And when your balance decreases, you become less fat magic. So now you know that a deficit is basically eating less calories than you're consuming. But it's important to note that my deficit might be different from your deficit. So the amount of calories that you need to eat to maintain your weight is different depending on your age, weight, gender. So the way you work out what your maintenance calories are is you go on to a thing called the TDEE calculator online. I'll leave a link in the description so you go on to the tdee calculator it stands for total daily energy expand expenditure expenditure and it will work out your maintenance calories and then you eat 500 less than that and that is a calorie deficit and that is what is going to make you less of a round shape right now i've explained to you what a calorie deficit is and how you can work out how many calories you should be eating to put yourself in a deficit but i know what you're thinking can you just eat anything you want? Surely you could live off a diet of Haribo's and Oreos and still lose weight. Well, technically speaking, if you're in a deficit and you're eating Haribo's and Oreos, you're going to lose weight. That's the science behind it. But it's probably not the brightest idea. Have you ever heard someone send you, yo, you need a nutritious diet? And you're like, yeah, definitely, mate. A nutritious diet is a macronutrient-rich diet. Now, what this means is a diet that's filled with proteins, carbohydrates and fats. These are the three main macronutrients. So you need to make sure that your dad is rich in macronutrients in order to give your body the energy and all the good stuff that it needs to power you through life. So now you know that you need fats, carbs and protein, but you don't know how much of each to eat. Well, lots of people will tell you lots of different things, but you've took my advice so far. 
So take my advice for this too. Protein, eat 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of your body weight. And then make up the rest with fats and carbs. Now you can do this whatever way you want, whatever works best for you. Some people prefer to eat more fats, some people prefer to eat more carbs. But as long as you're hitting your protein goals, 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein, and making up the rest with fats and carbs, and staying in a calorie deficit, you are going to be less round. So now you understand the importance of eating in a deficit and how to eat and all the stuff, fats, carbs, protein, you know what I mean? So how do you track it? You download a wee app called MyFitnessPal. Now this app allows you to keep track of everything you eat and count your calories as you, you enter them in so you can easily just boom, 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 simple as that. Now one thing to remember with MyFitnessPal is it actually calculates the exercise that you've done through your steps and stuff on your iPhone. Just ignore this because when you put in your calories into your total daily energy expenditure calculator, link in the description, it will work out judging by the exercise that you do. So just ignore the way it adds on your exercise on the app. So I hope this video helped you better understand fat loss and equipped you with the tools that you need to lose fat. Don't judge me too much. It's my first attempt at making a video, but I just thought I'd make it to try and help people out. I'm going to be making more videos like this, so if you want to hit like and subscribe, it's so cringy to say, do that.